Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about audio and more specifically lavalier microphones. So I'm going to take you through the lav mics and the recorders that I use. Um, and I'm also going to share with you guys a really inexpensive lav mic setup that will help increase the quality of your video production. So guys, part of my goal with this channel really is to help people create better video content. And of course, audio is a big part of creating good videos. A really easy and simple solution to recording dialogue on set is using lavalier microphones. So I'm recording this right now with the Rode Video Micro and this little guy is just attached to like a boom stand right in front of me just here and it's running into the Sennheiser EW100 G3 wireless kit. So even though I'm pretty close to the camera right now, um, I just find this wireless kit works really well to um, you know link up the audio also the cable that I got with the video micro isn't quite long enough to reach the camera from here so that's why I'm using that setup so um, you guys can hear what that sounds like now if this was a little bit further away on top of the camera um, it wouldn't sound quite as good so one of the really important factors with audio quality is the proximity to the source which is why I've placed this microphone closer to my mouth so for that reason, lavalier microphones are a great solution to that issue simply because you can clip them extremely close to the source. I'm going to jump into my first recommendation. Now this is probably one of the cheapest and best sounding microphone uh, and recorder setups um, that I've ever come across and I've been using this setup um, actually for a couple of years now filming weddings. So essentially what it is, is a Sony UX533. So this is just like a really small little audio recorder. Um, it has a 3.5 millimeter um, jack on the top and it allows you to record MP3 and WAV um, files. So the lavalier microphone that I use with this Sony recorder is called the Giant Squid Lav Mic. Uh, this thing's really well built and actually sounds really good. So I'm just gonna pop this on my shirt now. Now you're listening to the audio from the Giant Squid microphone running through the Sony recorder. So this is what that sounds like. I still have the Rode Video Micro in front of me. So I'm gonna switch back to that now. So now you're listening to the audio through the Rode Video Micro. So this is actually a really inexpensive and quite reliable setup. Um, it's all wired. So as long as you have enough space on the internal micro SD card, um, it won't stop recording. It even has a hold button on the side. So if you know one of the buttons does get pressed while it's in someone's pocket, um, it's not gonna you know stop recording. So generally for a wedding, I would just clip this on the groom's suit jacket and then um, I would roll the cable up and then this would go in the breast pocket um, on the inside of the jacket. Um, and then straight after the wedding, I'd come and grab the microphone off the groom and then I would simply sync synchronize the audio in post. So I guess that's the only downside with using this setup. I use a program called Pluralize and I'll put a link to that software in the description below. It's not cheap software, but it's really, really great for syncing multiple sources of audio. So you'd have your scratch audio from your camera and then you would have the Sony um, recorder audio on a separate track and then you just click synchronize and like magic, it'll synchronize all the audio. Um, that's what I'm actually gonna use when I get to the editing process of this video, um, just to make things easier for me. The Sony UX533 uh, and its variants, there are a few different models of similar style recorder. Um, they go for about hundred bucks on Amazon, which is actually really good considering the quality of the audio that you can record with it. Um, plus the size, it's just super compact and um, it's really easy not only just to carry around in your bag, but if you're putting it in someone's pocket, it's actually, um, you know, you kind of forget it, that it's there, it's so small. The Giant Squid mic goes for around $47 on Amazon. So all up, this microphone and recorder setup is under 150 bucks. And for the sound quality that you can get with this setup, that is to me an absolute bargain. So this is the Zoom H1. It is the little brother to the industry standard Zoom H4n. And it does have a few extra features on top of um, what the Sony UX recorders offer, namely, just more control over the input volume. 
Um, it is fairly affordable as well. So this is another recorder that I would typically take on set with me. So I'm just going to clip the um, giant squid uh, microphone onto my shirt here and you guys can hear the difference. I don't know if there is much difference between this and the Sony recorder. I don't know uh, which one would sound better. So it'll be interesting to see how they perform. In addition to the giant squid lav mic, I also have a couple of these Rode uh, lavalier microphones. These are a lot more expensive at around $200 I think each. Um, these have been pretty solid. Uh, I've only had issues with the connectors. So on the jack end of the connector, it kind of screws into the 3.5. And I think the function of that is simply that you can have different um, attachments, say like maybe XLR or um, the 3.5 millimeter with the screw jack on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach the Rode um, lavalier mic to my lapel. So this one's different than the Rode Smart Lab. I'm pretty sure it's better quality. I haven't actually owned the Rode Smart Lab before, so I can't really attest to its audio quality. But I think the only drawback with that is that you either have to record into a iPhone or get an adapter that would allow you to record into something like a Sony recorder or a Zoom or whichever recorder you're using. So this is what the Rode Lab sounds like plugged into the Sony recorder. And I'm actually gonna to switch to the Zoom H1 now as well so you guys can hear the difference between that. So now we're listening to the Zoom H1 with the Rode lav mic attached to it. So now I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side setup between the Sony recorder, the giant squid mic, the Zoom H1, and the Rode lavalier microphone. This is the Rode lav mic running into the Zoom H1. This is the Rode lav mic running into the Sony UX533 recorder. This is the Giant Squid lav mic running into the Zoom H1 recorder. So this is the Giant Squid microphone running into the Sony UX533 recorder. So when I bought the Rode lav microphone, it came with a little carry container, like a hard case, which is really cool. And it also came with a windstock on top, although as you can see, um, that has gone missing. The Giant Squid microphone doesn't come with a case, but it does also come with that windsock as you can see on top there. So that's really cool. That blocks some of the um, popping and some of the wind noise. You probably need a proper dead cat to get rid of um, most of the wind noise if you're using the microphone outdoors or in windy location. So if you chose to go with the better quality setup, the Zoom H1 paired with the Rode lavalier microphone, um, I think the combination of these two would run around $300 to $350 versus the Giant Squid with the Sony UX recorder, which is, as I said, under $150. So if you're just getting into the audio game, the Sony UX recorder with the Giant Squid lav mic is the perfect setup for you. It's inexpensive, really reliable. Um, both products are built really, really well. I've owned that Sony recorder for a couple of years now and I've dropped it numerous times and it's still going on strong, so that's really good news. If you also have a little bit more to spend, I really highly recommend the Zoom H1, even if you pair it with the giant squid microphone or if you go for the more expensive Rode lav microphone. Um, and also the Rode Smart Lav 2. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped in some way. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.